All right, so some people wanted to know what the process I went through for reattaching the nose. Um, what I did was I started at the door gaps back here. I threw the doors on, made sure I liked um, the door gaps back here. Um, rolled the windows up, made sure that they they fit in the A pillars nicely, so there's no weird gaps. Um, and then I've got up here. I bolted my crash bar on the car. Um, and then left the hardware loose so this thing moves around a little bit. And then I threw a scissor jack underneath the front here so I could fine tune the height of this. Um, and then we threw the nose on, um, just loosely. Um, and I bolted in these, uh, these supports that go on both sides. Okay, those were loosely on there as well. Um, and what I did was is that I just started by sliding the nose forward and trying to get a uh, door gap just even on both sides um so by lifting the nose lowering it and pushing the crash bar forward i was able to fine tune the door gaps okay um on both sides um, i got it to where i liked it okay where everything looked good um we were kind of happy with it um, and what I did was, was up top here, I put a couple of self tappers up in here on both sides just to help um, realign the nose when I go to put it back on. Um, I put some up there and then I put a couple down here. There's actually one still in there. Um, and that was to help me realign the nose when we pulled it off to put the, the adhesive on. So what we did was, when it came time to put the adhesive on was we just lifted this side we just kind of grabbed down here and kind of pulled up and pulled it away from the firewall enough that i could get the gun in there because i was using that 08115 so it comes with the applicator gun so put a lot inside there got in the engine bay did the same thing started putting it all in on, in the, on the contact areas and then i put it on the firewall here all the way up to about halfway um, and then put the nose back down put screws back in to get it all lined up then went and did it on the other side lifted it up put the adhesive inside there lowered it back down put put the screw in there to where I like it and then um, you know made sure that that I was happy with what it, how it looked um, and then kind of left it. Now, I know some people are asking me, like, where'd you clamp it? And honestly, all I had was just a couple of these just down here. Um, I've seen people put a ton of screws along the side here. But what I didn't want was a bunch of high and low spots from the screws sucking in the, the, uh, the fender. Um, and what I did was I made sure I shimmed both the doors out so that they followed the contour of the fenders equally uh or nicely rather you know we did it on both sides just just shim the door so it came out now i need to shim this out just a hair um but you know this is you know it's it's not bad you know you can look from the top kind of coming down it's not bad it's actually you know it's okay um down here, the door does kind of kick out just a hair, but I'm okay with it. Same thing on the other side. Um, I had to put quite a few shims in there to bring to bring the door out and to get the top side and the bottom side leveled with with the fender. Whether this side was high or low, this side high or low, you know, you play with the shims to kind of get it to where it's flat. Where you're going across here, these these areas here are flat, and I can actually feel right here. This is a little it's a little high. And this is this is a, a tad bit low, but honestly, um, I'm cool with it. I'm happy with it. Um, and actually, my door right on the end down here is bent in a little bit. You can kind of see it a little bit there. So, um, but yeah, after I did that, you know, we stood back and kind of just looked at everything. Um, I made sure we were just happy with the way it looked. Um, we were happy with it, so that was it just let it sit overnight 
Now, I, I need to go back now since um, I didn't get enough adhesive in, in enough areas. So, like, I can tell, like, inside here, it's going to be hard to kind of see, but down inside here, let's see if I can get a light real quick. Down inside my door, you know, like there's still a bit of a gap between the firewall and the fender. Um, so I'm gonna have to pull the doors off and just use, I'm gonna end up using some VPA inside there to kind of uh, make all that flush and kind of sand it down and make it look nice. Um, but, um, you know, inside the, inside the, the engine bay, like down in this area, down in here, um, and everywhere else, I just use the, the 3M 08115. Um, and I, I'm about to get back inside here and see if I can squirt some more in some areas that, you know, didn't get enough. Um, this stuff kind of, uh, I've noticed it kind of, it looks thick when it comes out, but you let it sit for a couple of minutes and it just wants to kind of run. Um, so, you know, getting it on, applied on some vertical services is a little tricky sometimes. Um, but, you know, I'm happy with the way it turned out. Um, everything is solid, so I don't feel anything loose. You know, everything is, is, I'm happy with it. Um, and even though this door gap, in my opinion, is a little on the big side, I'm okay with it. Um, this car uh, was so rotted, um, both the rockers were gone. So my firewall was completely free from the rest of the, the tub of the car here. So to get it as close as I got it and to get it to look as good as it does, I'm happy with it. So 